my name is Marcelo Sel Jones, and uh, I'm the founder of Fashion Insider TV, um, which produces a television program called Men's Fashion Insider. And every week it's a TV show that you can see in the United States, Canada, Belgium, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Sweden, Australia, Spain. And uh, every week you have like amazing designers like Jean Paul Gaultier, Karl Lagerfeld, Vivian Westwood, Calvin Klein, Tim, Tommy Hilfiger, etc., etc., and Donatello Versace, of course. And, um, and also we have a lot of celebrities that pass in my TV show, like Janet Jackson, uh, the Black Eyed Peas, Usher, Helen Mirren, uh, we had uh, Mila Jovovich two times, Victoria Beckham, Claudia Schiffer. So it's that type of television program, very high profile, uh, very professional show, and it's my, my life's work. But here in Serbia, I am the uh, Vice President of International Development, pour le Serbia Fashion Week. Alors, je suis photographe français, en fait, artiste, et j'ai travaillé euh, il y a quelques années vraiment beaucoup dans la mode, sur les défilés euh, à Paris, à Milan, euh, dans les gros défilés, en fait. Je travaillais avec Marcellus Jones, justement, que vous avez interrogé, et Fashion Insider. Je faisais l'émission, en fait, je, je filmais, et puis, comme quand vous filmez dans les défilés, en fait, vous avez euh, beaucoup de temps, j'ai pris des photos, en fait, et j'ai commencé à faire beaucoup de photos dans la mode. I'm Andrea Lazzari and uh, I'm a designer from Italy, Venice. Uh, I work and uh, for my brand uh, that is called Pluca Marie, More Than My Life. And uh, it is a me metaphor from, for a necessity of a human being to research is blue, is more, is best. But I guess the greatest thing about the work that I do is I get to really be a part of something that helps designers who want to go to that next level, who want people to know their work. And I get to work with designers who say, I'm Serbian, I'm so proud to be Serbian. And this is what Serbia is really about. Serbia is not about the wars that people talk about from the 1990s. Serbia is about culture, it's about love, Serbia is about art, Serbia is about savoir-faire, Serbia is about good times, Serbia is about amazing food, by the way, and, and, and that's the message that we try to serve, you know, that we try to send to the world. Bonjour, je suis Kenzo Takada. Bonjour, uh, Fashion Week, uh, Serbia. And hi to all of our friends at Fashion Week Serbia. Tanti buoni saluti, cordiali saluti per Serbia Fashion Week. What do you think about uh, Serbia Fashion Week? Is your first time here? Yes, it's the first time, and uh, I don't think I don't think about this beautiful world, this beautiful place where uh, establish a Fashion Week. A big hotel, uh, really, really well um, create with the interior design, and it is a strange atmosphere, strange scenography, where to have a fashion show. So it's really, really, really nice, and uh, people work faster, work uh, stronger, and I like it very much because I, I had uh, a support yesterday when I had my show. And uh, usually, when uh, I have fashion week, I get fa to the fashion week. Uh, lots of people don't help you, and uh, you know, um, preparing preparing a fashion show alone is difficult mm -hmm. because there are lots of models, lots of details to correct, to adjust, and it's a problem. And in Serbia, people uh, uh, li li like me. I don't know, but. Uh, They help me to having a good show. Yeah. We, we like it. We like and uh, we support people from yes. Italy, so you're always welcome here. <laughs> Tell me something more about, about uh, your models. Mm -hmm. Your models are from Italy or so, or from from Serbia? Uh, they're from Serbia. From Serbia. But I don't find lots of different between uh, the, between the more Italian models. Mm -hmm. They're very good, very professional, so I like it. Uh, did you choose and uh, did you choose them or someone else? Uh, uh, I choose uh, a part of them, but mm -hmm. uh, they're okay. So I choose uh, 
20 of uh, 25 they presented to me. Yeah. We do have a lot of international partners, you know, working with this Fashion Week. Um, I've, as I've said to you earlier before our interview story, you know, we have like uh, Mr. Donald Potal, he was the uh, president of the uh, famed uh, French fashion house Jean Paul Gaultier for 31 years. We have the boy couturier Emeric Francois coming from Paris every season to work with us here at the Fashion Week. Tonight we have our special guest of honor, Mayor Onoulous of Maastricht. Maastricht is the birth city of the European Union. And in Maastricht, they actually have this fashion uh, platform to launch international designers. And so they're our partner too because here at this fashion we have what we call the FTDC which is the Fashion Talents Design Competition. That competition was specifically designed in order to be able to create Serbia's, not create but to discover because the talent is there. So we want to find that talent and help them to develop. Who is your teacher? Who helped you the most in your career? Myself. Yeah? Yes, because I, have, I had a lot of teachers, you know. A lot of people uh, who helped me and learned me my, my work, but uh, I mean that for a designer, for a person who wants to affirm himself, mm -hmm. the most important thing is uh, learn about himself, into, into, into this deepness, into this mind. How many shows did you have? How many, how many collections it, 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 it is Okay, it is the, the full collection. And now I had uh, about uh, seven shows. Uh, the first show was in Paris during the during the um, graduation of my Isidro uh, Marangoni last year. Then I had the fashion show in Milan, and then I decided to open my brand uh, fashioning at um, St. Petersburg in uh, Russia. Mm -hmm. And uh, after Russia, I, uh, my world changed, and uh, it start I, I started with Pukemavi. So I come in New in uh, North Europe, in uh, Copenhagen, and then to um, Holland, Maastricht, where I knew uh, Mr. Uh, Jones, Marcellus. Mm -hmm. Marcellus uh, takes me to Ferbia. Yeah. So it's if I have to uh, thanks to someone, I, I thanks to Marcellus. Yeah. I was in Monte Carlo partying with this uh, DJ by the name of Bob Saint Clair. And I asked him, I was a bit lost, and I said, Bob, can you tell me, I've already achieved my dreams. Like you, you achieve your dreams, so what do I do now? And he said to me, well, Marcellus, it's very simple. When you have achieved the dream that you have, you, you can always dream a new dream. So for me, it's, uh, it's fantastic that I get to participate in someone else's dream, a dream I personally believe in, and that's why I'm here. Can we introduce uh, your lady that's sitting next to yeah, you? Yeah, 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 Phaedra. I mean, I mean, arrête, arrête ça. Phaedra, uh, 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 Phaedra, in photo, in photo. Okay, this is my baby Phaedra. Phaedra, don't eat your paw right here. You can have a kiss. This is my baby Phaedra. Yesterday was her seventh birthday. She just turned seven years old yesterday, and I was traveling when I arrived in Serbia on Monday night at about midnight. She was in, uh, I came from, uh, I was, earlier that day I was in uh, Lisbon for the fashion week there. Then I flew to Paris for about four hours to change my clothes and my suitcase because, you know, in Lisbon, it was like 26 degrees. And then when I came to Serbia, I just expected, no, no, arrête, arrête, 
I expected it to be like colder here, so I had to go and change my suitcase. So I was literally home in Paris. I was there for four hours, and then I flew here. And she was actually in uh, Antwerp, Belgium, working. She's uh, one of the co-stars of my TV show, aren't you, Rod? Yeah. And she's also a famous stage actress. And uh, what happened is she was appearing in a play, a stage play, in the theater in Belgium, in Antwerp. And because uh, yesterday was her birthday, we we had to make special negotiations and very tough negotiations with the production of the play in Antwerp uh, because I've never been apart from her for her birthday and so we made the arrangements for her to be flown over the director of this huge play in Antwerp had to take an airplane he had to fly her to Belgrade and then take a car to bring her to Novi Sad so she could be with me her daddy for her birthday because um, yeah and she's and it was like everybody in the theater was crying because they love her so much they didn't want her to go they love her <laughs> does she have some her own collection maybe to wear well you know or, what um, a necklace. no 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 normally Phaedra she has a wardrobe uh, she has different dresses she has many famous designers around the world who makes clothes for her among these designers include of course uh, Jean Paul Gaultier in Paris uh, we have uh, Roxelona Boguska who is the most famous designer in the Ukraine uh, we have Natalia Yurashevska one of the most famous designers in Poland um, we have a Lucas Yemiol, also one of the most famous designers in Poland. So a lot of people make specific dresses for her. Um, and Swarovski, for example, they sent to her the new collections that they have. So before people wear the new collections from Swarovski, Paris, she wears them six months, eight months before they even go to the stores. So she's a very privileged girl and uh, my baby, I love her. so. Famous baby, famous baby. Would you like to say something, huh? Say I'll some. give you some kiss. One kiss for Michael. Can I have a kiss? <laughs> no comment? She's, she's being difficult, so no comment. <laughs> Thank cooperate with uh, Serbian models, with Serbian people, with Serbian artists. Pas vraiment en fait pour le moment. En fait, j'ai une histoire particulière avec la Serbie puisque ça a été mon premier voyage il y a 6 ans, le premier voyage que j'ai fait dans le monde de la mode, c'était pour venir à Novi Sad et faire le défilé de Svetlana Horvat. Donc, je n'ai je ne suis pas revenu encore et, et pris des photos dans les backstage, mais j'aurais pu euh, peut-être que je le ferai cette semaine. Um, tell me something more about uh, your impressions about uh, people from Serbia. Models and, and designers. You know, media that that Serbia people are strong, uh, violent. You know, but I found a cool place where to live, where to eat good, <laughs> where to speak with a smile in their face. Okay, and I really like uh, the mentality that Serbian people have yeah. to in in the designer world. You know, but I really like it. Uh, the first time I was in Serbia was in uh, December 2008. Uh, since that time, I've been here about ten times uh, because I work with the Fashion Week. So, uh, on the invitation of Mrs. Horvath, I come and and I'm always trying to create reasons for me to come to Serbia because I love it here. I, I, um, the past year, I've spent more time in Serbia than I have in Paris, where I officially live and where I I pay taxes. Um, I want to tell you a small anecdote about the first time I came to Serbia. Uh, I was in my hair salon in Paris, and uh, this is in December 2008. And I was having my hair done, and so my, my hairstylist, uh, he's from Nigeria, he said to me, so, where are you going this time? I said, oh, I'm going to Serbia tomorrow. He said, you go to Serbia? What? Why you go to Serbia? I said, well, because I'm going for work. He said, well, you be careful. I said, why? He said, well, because, you know, Serbs are like, 
I, and I said, I don't know what is, what does that mean? What what does that mean about service? I don't know. You have to tell me. He said, Well, you know, service there are like, uh, well, you just be careful when you go to Serbia, and when you go there, you be incognito. And I looked at him, and I was like. Uh, yeah, I'll be real incognito. No one will notice me. <laughs> so, and since you know, I have been. I, I discovered some amazing people, uh, food that I'm crazy about, and um, and and every season is so easy for me to get really important people to come to Serbia because I'm the biggest cheerleader. I'm the biggest fan of Serbia, and I'm always telling people about how wonderful the people are. The girls are beautiful. The guys are fantastic. Everybody's so natural and so pleasant. The food is amazing. And and really, when I come here in Serbia, I've been living. In, I've gone to school and I've lived in Paris now for 14 years since the time I was very young, a teenager, and going to school there. But I actually feel more at home here in Serbia than I do in Paris. Alors la première action, c'est que j'ai trouvé les filles très belles. Je me suis dit, c'est c'est dingue. Les, les filles ici sont très très belles et et je, je... voilà, c'est ce qui m'a fait. Ma première action, ça a été ça. Maybe some plans uh, for the future. What you will do? What you? What's? What's your next step? Next step is uh, to find uh, buyers. Mm -hmm. Some buyers, more buyers respect to that I have in this moment. More shops, more retailers, a sponsor, someone who bring me to uh, a step for my brand. Because I need only only person in design. I need it. For uh, having, not only uh, to have success, but to, to create his personal world in better way. And so I, in this moment, I'm searching to arrive to Paris for the next fashion week, not to uh, run away, but to trade show. And at the same moment, I'm uh, searching for some f some opportunity in Berlin or in London. But it's difficult like, to move in these months and uh, try to understand what is the best place for me. Tell me something about your plans and can we expect you again in Serbia? Alors, je viens d'avoir mon programme en fait, et puis euh, c'est vrai que quand, à part les filles, la fin dernière, ce qui m'a impressionné ici, c'est les monastères, puisque dans mon travail, il y a beaucoup d'icônes. De, de, et euh, c'est vrai que dans les pays comme la Serbie, c'est vraiment très impressionnant l'art dans les, dans les églises. Et c'est quelque chose que j'aime beaucoup faire. La fois dernière, on avait rencontré justement dans un très vieux monastère un personnage très impressionnant. C'est quelque chose qui m'a marqué euh, réellement. Do you have some message for people in Serbia? And yeah, I, I do. Uh, oh, yeah, I have many messages and stuff. You know, here, guys, I want you all to know here in Serbia that you have a fashion week that is working to be your champion. Um, Our goal is for you to do your very best work and for us to help to guide you to become the very best that you can be so that your work will be noticed and recognized around the world and that you can compete with the very best designers in the world. That is our wish for you. That is what we want for you. We want you to be happy. We want you to be successful. And the only way that can happen is if you love your work as much as I love the work that I do. And This is why we're bringing all of these famous guests here. Like, like I said, you know, six months ago, Donald Pota, who loved it so much, he's back. He was the president of Jean Paul Gaultier for 31 years. He came. He gave a lecture. He gave advice. 
of how to do your collection, how to sell, how to do. He gave, he told people exactly what he did for Jean Paul Gaultier, and he told designers exactly what to do. He did that for free. When you have someone like Mr. Potar coming to speak, it takes he. You pay Mr. Potar twenty to one hundred thousand euros to get him to give a speech. He came to Serbia to do it for free. We have the mayor of Maastricht. He's here to also be able to speak about how businesses can work together with a fashion event like the Serbia Fashion Week to help create jobs, boost the Serbian economy, create economic opportunities for many different sectors. You don't have to be a designer. Even if you're a printer, you know, if you, even if you're a printer, there's a way for you to work with the Fashion Week to be able to boost your own business. If you do a restaurant, there's a way to work with the fashion week to be able to create business, uh, create business opportunities. And also it's tourism and culture. Because in order to do a successful fashion week, you must have the infrastructures. Those infrastructures in include hotels, for example. You've got to have production uh, facilities. You've got to have restaurants. You've got to have nightlife. You've got to have a shopping district. And those are the things, and you have to have like historical elements such as the uh, Petrovaldian um, fortress in the castle of Etchek here. Um, you've got to have all of these historic things as well in order to do a successful fashion week. All of those, all of those elements are here. They exist in Serbia, and they also exist right here in Novi Sad. So this is what this project is about, and we invite any designer from Serbia who wants to benefit from what we are trying to offer to them, um, contact us, you know, info at serbiafashionweek.com, protocol at serbiafashionweek.com, designers at serbiafashionweek.com. And again, my name is Marcellus L. Jones, and you can go to Google, you can contact me through my um, Serbia Fashion Week email address or through my own company, my media company, thefashioninsider.com or Fashion Insider TV. We would be very happy to meet you, work with you, and to help you boost your career.